Employees at the Belvedere assembly plant face another blow. The region's largest employer, Stellantis, says supply shortages are forcing them to make drastic decisions. But it's not the first time. 13 News' Cassandra Bretto is following how the city of Murals is questioning what to do next. Cassandra. Brittany, according to Stellantis, starting on Monday, the Belvedere plant is shutting down due to the ongoing global supply chain issues and the microchip shortage. It's the same problem the plant has faced for almost a year now, but this time the shutdown comes when the holidays are just around the corner. It's never good that uh, when you're working that you have an uncertainty uh, about uh, your employment. Belvedere Mayor Clint Morris says he sympathizes with those out of work this time of year. So do former employees. It's a holiday season. It's like try to make the, the best of it, but you might want to think in the new, new year, find something else. Former Belvedere Assembly Plant employee Ted Cross knows what it's like to be cut off from work due to the lack of microchips. He left the plant last year after he says Stellantis shuts the plant down more than it keeps the doors open. We'd work a week, it's like seven days, then we'd be off for nine days, and then, then we'd work for maybe ten days, and, then, and then, then we'd be off. And then the longest we were off was for like one month. While Cross says he's glad he left, Mayor Morris is optimistic this hitch of the road will pass, giving employees a more reliable schedule as for the future long term. The city, we have done as much as we can possibly do to make sure Stellantis uh, understands and to make sure that our state leaders uh, understand that uh, we want Stellantis to stay here. The city hangs on to its strong history of automobile manufacturing and hopes Stellantis can either decide to retool to electric or manufacture in a competitive market. If you have the, the means, hang on. I mean, it, it's not going to be tomorrow where they're going to change over to, to electric. Now, whether or not economics, you know, bears that out uh, from their perspective, uh, that remains to be seen. Now this temporary shutdown comes about a month after Solantis sent a warn notice to employees announcing about 400 workers could be out of a job come in January. Now we reached out to Solantis, which says it's working to minimize the impact of the shortage has on its operation. It asked employees for understanding while it balances supply and demand. Brittany.